what is uh, perfect in this program is and in this project that uh, uh, our young guys, our young scientific generation has now uh, excellent framework in three years for collaboration, for making their own contacts, their own uh, scientific plans and uh, this project actually uh, serves to assure all of this. In CERN we are interested in uh, questions about radiation damage, about question of speed of scintillation response. If we come to Lyon, uh, here the strength of the, of the team is in, in the know-how and in, in the excellent research on uh, nano, nanocrystals, nanoscintillators. And finally, last but not least, uh, uh, is Milan, which uh, is special in uh, investigating on trapping states in scintillation mechanisms which are critical for good or bad performance. Intelligentsia Consultants is especially pleased to be involved in the Horizon 2020 funded ASCIMAT project as it provides a welcome opportunity to work again with four excellent universities and research institutions from across Europe who are, without doubt, world leaders in the field of advanced scintillating materials. Oh, the decision to collaborate was very easy and natural for me and for our group because we started collaboration with um, the group of Martin Nichol already several years ago, um, even maybe 20 years ago, when we were studying the materials for scintillation detectors in uh, um, high energy physics. Mm, as for my group, uh, we work um, very much on scintillators, both crystalline, glasses, and um, especially in last year on uh, scintillating optical fibers, both for high energy physics and also for medical dosimetry applications. So I'm leading a, a group of 30 members, including postdocs, uh, PhDs and permanent staff. Um, all field of activities on, uh, I would say, material science, uh, interaction between the light and these materials. Uh, with a particular focus on luminescence and uh, scintillating materials. It includes crystals, nanoparticles. CERN is an um, end user. We are uh, developing big uh, detectors for high energy physics, and so we have special re requests for the detector. And I think it's our point of view as a user of material that we can be an, ad an added value for the project. We have uh, uh, long-lasting collaboration say, with at least one Czech company, the name is Kritur, and working directly in the field of scintillators or this kind of sensors. We aim to interconnect uh, our uh, scientific research with the needs of uh, domestic industry, which can be easily uh, related to what we are doing. And our uh, work will be to, to test the radiation damage of the crystals and also the timing properties of the crystals. Within the ASCIMAT project, Intelligentsia will lead two main sets of activities, dissemination and training workshops. Under dissemination, we will be responsible for implementing the project website, designing promotion material, as well as producing project newsletters and news releases. In the training workshops, we will provide training and coaching on technology transfer, innovation management, and media relations to the four consortium partners. Particularly what I like in this project is the, f is the training of young people between labs. And I think that it will be very meaningful for young researchers to have the opportunity to work in this other department, the Czech Republic, both for the scientific point of view and also in more in general for the um, cultural and the human point of view. Um, I would say it's always very good to share um, the knowledge, even if it is a bit the same, but uh, uh, it's a different point of view and the a way of working, the way of uh, thinking, the way of writing papers and this is always good even for young people and particularly for young people. So. <laughs>